I got a mead and he got a dark beer and we're in Lithuania. What's up, Nation? Today is a very exciting day. We are finally going to the capital of Lithuania. But first, we're starting out in... Hanzis? And then driving an hour and a half to the capital. It's raining right now, so we're gonna do this, like, intro outside. However, it's raining. Is so it? hopefully it doesn't rain when we get to the capital, but we'll see. Let's go to Vilnius! We are here in Vilnius, and the drive here was really nice. Like the highway was the nicest we've been on in Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. Yeah, it's it definitely. Like yeah, I feel like this country is a lot more populated than the other two we've been to, and we are here in the old town. We're about to explore. So we're especially excited to be here in Lithuania because Daniel is a descendant of Lithuanian people. Those aren't even blood, so he doesn't care, but we do. Cathedral and what's so cool about it is it has 11 like side chapels like you have the main chapel Which is so intricate in itself Then you have these 11 different little side chapels on the sides Kind of like the different altars that we saw in Kiev, but like it's an entirely different room Very cool very intricate definitely worth checking out and it's free And now we're entering into the Vilnius like old castle and this place has like actual ruins to it So now we're here at the palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania and there's like a bunch of different tours you can go on and they're all very reasonably priced. So we got tours, access to tours one and two, and it's like discovering like the old like crumbling sections that are like below the actual structure here today. So we're gonna go check it out. So we heard that it rains a lot here in these Baltic countries, but it must rain that much that they actually have like like a coat check almost for your umbrella. I have never seen that before. cellar underneath the palace and it was built in the 16th century and we just learned about old sewage systems so they use like pine logs and like somehow get I don't know, like they'd hollow it out but like only like very little and they'd use that as a pipe this is so interesting I had no idea that Lithuania was its own country like had its own kingdom Estonia and Latvia didn't like show us any history on this side and so it's really interesting that they were their own kingdom for like 200 years <laughs> Century. And we're gonna we're gonna see how they lived. Our journey begins here. <laughs> I wish I could share this with you guys. We're looking at a hill with a castle on top of it, and they're teaching me history, but I'm not listening. There's a river. Oh, and now there's like, it's like kind of like the Game of Thrones montage where stuff's being built up. 
it knows. This is probably the coolest aspect of this whole museum is they have this virtual reality like simulation you go through and explains the whole history of this place and like you're like in this field and then like all these buildings are being like built up around you and all of a sudden you're flying and then there's a fire and it's so cool it's only one year and it's awesome and it's very disorienting and I think I like I think I made a fool of myself. <laughs> so we're kind of going through this museum fast but there's a few things I've learned. Lithuania had a bajillion kings. His heirs became the rulers of like Hungary and Poland and all these different countries. Um, Lithuania used to like also encompass Kiev and this palace burnt down like a bajillion times and they built it back up again 20 years ago. Yeah, the castle is really nice and now we're walking out and going to... The hill, the big hill! We're gonna run up the hill like kids! Couldn't run up the hill. It's blocked off. Also, it's part of a tour that we didn't purchase. We didn't pay attention to what the lady was saying. That's our fault. But now we're gonna go into the old town and maybe find some food. We just walked all the way across the old town. Now we're having lunch, or we're about to have lunch at Snakutis. And this place was recommended to us by a Vilnius native that we met in Riga through Airbnb. So we just ordered a ton of food. It was so funny because the guy thought I was ordering all the food just for me. So like he had this list of like seven things and he was like, whoa, like, no. <laughs> but then we had to explain like it's for the table and then all was well. Okay, and this restaurant's really interesting because on the sign out front, like on all the little cards on the table and even on the menu, it's a picture of this guy. This is like the guy that takes everyone's order and runs the entire shop. Whoa, this is very purple borscht. I don't think I've ever had any that look this authentic. There's also like leaves floating in it, so that's going to be interesting. And I'm really going to miss borscht when I leave here, just like I miss curry back in Thailand. So I got a mead, and he got a dark beer, and we're in Lithuania. So this is like a cheese pancake. I've never had pancakes and beer at the same time, and I think this is a big winner right here. So we have been seeing a lot of pork ear, and I've never had pork ear. And this is a little bit, like I feel like I have a strong stomach. Like I can have pork fat, you know, like I can eat weird things. But for some reason, this is a little bit um, concerning. So it's served with mustard. <laughs> And it's smoked and it smells like bacon. Okay. That was a little rough. <clears throat> it tastes amazing. It's super soft, but then there's this like cartilage part that you can easily chew <laughs> Not my favorite. <laughs> Okay, this is crazy. We ordered potato pudding and I thought it was like a casserole dish and it came out and it looks just like sausage with potato. I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, I think the casing is just like normal sausage casing and the inside looks like mashed potatoes. I'm going to dip it in this cream sauce. So the casing is super crispy and then the consistency of the mashed potatoes are like... The best way to describe it is if you mix mashed potatoes too much, which is what I like to do, and they get a little bit gummy because it's been cooked inside this casing, and it just is like... I don't, I'm, I'm lost for words because I don't know how to describe this. This is so foreign to me. Is it it's good? It's really, really good. Good. Because we just got these, and I don't really know what they are. It's called a Zeppelin, and it looks like a gigantic blimp, and like the outside is translucent, so I'm thinking it's a dumpling, but these are gigantic. I mean, like, two of them are the size of my face. No idea what this is. Absolutely not, but this is what makes it fun, because normally when I don't have any idea what it is, I'm not going to eat it, but here, I feel very comfortable. A lot of things going on. It's like a myriad of flavors in your mouth. There's like some wine glaze on the outside, and the inside is like potatoes and dumplings together. It was like pasta, mashed potatoes, and wine all together. Okay, and the last thing we ordered is literally a pork foot that I think has been braised with Lithuanian peas 
and some kind of like meat onion mixture on top with mustard and this is a little intimidating but i've eaten tons of pork in my life i just have never had like the huff you know like looking at me so we're gonna try it with an optimistic mindset. So again, we've never eaten a fish but I pretty much just like went into this thing with my bare hand. So I was like, oh, you know, like I've dissected a chicken before. What's the difference? There's a big difference. Um, it's pretty much just fat and cartilage and bone. And like, this is literally the only meat that came off it. So maybe you're supposed to eat all the fat and, you know, the other stuff. Again, no experience prior to this, so cannot judge. That meal is so good, this place is so cool. Now we're gonna go back outside and explore more of the city. Okay, and that about wraps it up for exploring the capital of Lithuania. Vilnius has been amazing, and I am so full, and I feel like I've seen almost all of the city. Yeah, and you know what? We're very sorry that we're, we're pretty much like tearing Daniel away from his homeland. <laughs> He because we, we, we only like have him. one day here, yeah. <laughs> we only have one day here, so Daniel got to see his homeland in one day, and it was enough his to see roots. the capital. We loved it. We loved it. Amazing. I've never seen you show both hands and the inner, inner parts of your arms. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, good job. <laughs>